Hey guys, um, I apologize, I don't look very good right now, I just finished working out, but, um, I got this anonymous message asking, um, what, hang on, let me look at the message. Ah, oh, I posted it. One sec. Oh. What first got you into Lord of the Rings, and what were your first impressions? I can tell you this because I remember vividly. It's a very, it was a turning point in my life. Um, what actually first got me into the Lord of the Rings was my little brother. He, um, way back when, we read The Hobbit. So that didn't really get us into Lord of the Rings because it was, you know, The Hobbit. It, and we didn't go on to read because we, we were reading about they were different. It was a different story, so it didn't. It wasn't like a gateway then into Lord of the Rings. But um, my brother actually he got this the Hobbit video game, the old one that came out, and we spent an entire summer playing that game. And um, that was also around the time where um, Battle for Middle Earth had uh, one had come out, and my brother was playing it at the library. And actually, at that time, my parents didn't allow us to see Lord of the Rings because it was PG thirteen or whatever. And we were we were young. I was. 12, and my brother was younger. He was 9. Yeah. My brother was 9 and I was 12. And they were just concerned about, you know, the violence and, um, whatnot. But my brother actually started playing Battle for Middle Earth at, um, at our local library or whatever. So my parents said, oh, okay, well, you know, I guess if we let them play the game, then we might as well just let them see the movies. So, um, my brother actually saw the movies before I did. We didn't see them in theaters. So, I mean, I never saw them in theaters. I wasn't it, it missed me by like a year, actually getting into Lord of the Rings. Um, so, what happened was he saw the movies first, and I was just like, "No, come on, give me a break." I don't even know what I was into then, um, but I, I was actually going through a really hard time in my life. I know it sounds weird, but like twelve, thirteen years old—that's actually kind of a difficult time for people in general, for kids, and it was just, it was a horrible, I don't even want to talk about it, but it was just a terrible time, um, and so I remember coming home one day, and I was just like, no, please don't make me watch those long movies with you, uh, I came home from a piano lesson, actually, and my brother is sitting watching something with my dad, and they're both, like, sitting on the couch, and I was just like, oh, what you watching, and like, oh, we're, you know, we're just watching a movie, so I, I sit down, and I see the scene, and there's these, um, four little guys, and there's, you know, the guy with the white on, and they're in a harbor, and they're all getting on the ship, and they're all crying and saying goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just remembering. I was so emotional. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know what was going on. I'm sorry. I'm crying. <laughs> I didn't even know what was going on. I was, like, sitting there bawling my eyes out. Cause it's like, it's the, it was just so sad, and I, was like, I didn't even know what this was. And of course, you know, later I found out that it was the Grey Haven scene, and I didn't see the movies. I didn't know who the characters were. It was just such a strong emotional moment that it brought me to tears without having any backstory to it at all. So that was actually my first impression of Lord of the Rings, and my other impression was um, I walked in at another point before I saw it, and he'd watched them again during the, the um scene where they're they're catapulting the heads over into um, Minas Tirith. I was like, ugh, I don't, I don't know why, this is scary, I don't think I want to watch this. But eventually I did watch it, and um, I just completely fell in love with The Lord of the Rings. Like, they brought me through a terrible time. And I know, like, you're, you're saying, like, oh, you can't really be having such a terrible time when you're 13 years old, but <laughs> it was really bad. And I... Finding a friend in the books, because I, I did actually end up reading, I, I read the books after I read the movies. Um, but I found peace and hope and solace in these books and movies, and they just completely, totally changed my life for forever. I, I, I'm never going to be the same again, obviously. Um, I'm sorry, I think this is really, this is going much longer than I expected, and, but, 
yeah, that's that was my first impressions. First impressions were sadness and scariness. And oh, I don't want to watch this long movie. <laughs> but yeah, so. That's the answer. Thanks for listening to me this long.